we are now looking at the relationship between pressure and temperature for a gas. To do this, we hold uh, the amount of gas moles and the volume of the gas constant. So we just have a two dimensional relationship. This relationship was found to be a, a direct relationship. As we plot increasing temperature, we get increasing pressure. Uh, this is called a Gay Lussac slope. And they showed that uh, pressure was directly proportional to temperature. So being directly proportional means that as we increase our temperature, our pressure increases. We decrease our temperature, our pressure decreases. And this is the way that we have to go. We have to uh, change temperature and see how pressure responds. The other way is that we can change pressure to watch temperature would change our moles or volume. So we have to do temperature and then follow it by pressure measurement. This um, direct relationship can be written as pressure over temperature is equal to a constant, where we can use the initial temperature and pressure measurement to calculate a final temperature and pressure measurement. So this is a standard form of the equation pressure over temperature. The other version, temperature over pressure, is an easy one to start off with if you're solving for your temperature. In these gas equations, our temperature always has to be in Kelvin. In this case, for Gay Lussac's law, our pressure just has to have matching units. So, to solve for temperature, we have pressure divided by pressure. If the identical units they cancel out. If we solve for pressure, pressure units that we put in are the pressure units that we get out. So, let's look at this law applied to a problem. So if we have gas in a constant volume container, 1.3 atmospheres and 25 Celsius, if that pressure um, increased 1.7 atmospheres, what temperature does that reflect that the container is now at? So we're going to solve the law for temperature. And put in the values that we have. The 25 Celsius uh, equals 298 Kelvin. So we're looking for T2. So the P2 matches. We're looking for the temperature relating to that 1.7, so that it goes on top. Now we run this through our calculator, and we end up with 390 Kelvin. If we don't specify what units, the answer is perfectly fine. We ask for Celsius, we would subtract 273, and we would end up with 117 Celsius. Now, if we have another uh, fixed size container, it has a pressure of 685 torr at 22 Celsius. When the temperature has become 37 Celsius, what is our new pressure? So now we're solving for pressure. We're going to need to convert our temperatures into Kelvin. This 22, we add 273 to get uh, 295. Kelvin. The 37, we add 273, and we end up with a 310 Kelvin. So we're looking for P2, so T2 goes on top. So we're looking for the pressure associated with 310 Kelvin. Okay. 
It's the pressure. Pressure is 685 Tor. So we're putting in Tor, our pants will come up in Tor, so we end up with 720 Tor. Okay. 